you know, we need to silence some of the NIP critics because I think there's going to be a couple out there that are going, these guys just won invite. How is it that they're having so much trouble? Yeah, everyone starts screaming SSG effect, G2 effect, world champions yeah. go downhill, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I wouldn't say that it's... It hasn't, remember, it hasn't been too long since Invitational. It hasn't been too long. It's still, it's... It's not to the extent where, oh, that's it done. It's only been a couple of weeks since they've had bad form. They still played really well in Split 2, didn't they? They won the last Copa League 6, didn't they? So I believe only, so, yeah. It's Off only the really head, been yeah. since Mexico Major to this point yeah. right now that they've been on bad form. We've seen teams be in worse form and still get praise. We have. We have. There's just that level of expectation. Yeah. I think that that's the biggest problem, isn't it? There's that level of expectation and it's that level of sort of expecting consistency. And that's something that NIP have struggled with for a long time, honestly. They've really struggled with that, that level of consistency. But thankfully now we're back in the game. We thank you for bearing with us. Managed to get away with not having to remake the lobby either, which is always a bit of a bonus. So, we were right in some cases, Demo. No Valkyrie ban. We do have an Echo ban. Mm -hmm. We've got a Thatcher, a Ying, a Cade, and an Echo. It's going to be Ints, the ones that have braved the, uh, the old Cade ban with the Hibana still available. Yeah. That's also uh, another interesting theory. Um, I mean, in, in terms of... I've seen another Ying. What is it with, with Ying? Is everyone running Ying? I mean, we've seen Ying bans today. We've seen Ying being played today. What's up What's up with the Yings? Is this like a new, a new pick that teams have been... I've been going for maybe in scrims and maybe teams are playing into that. Who knows? It certainly appeared out of nowhere, hasn't it? Yeah. It's almost like the Finker play. We, you know, this stage has seen so much Finker. I mean, Finker's got more apparent reasons for it's the just, upgrade yeah. in, in it's just pick, out of nowhere. It's, you know, you, you've went to bed on the 24th of December. All of a sudden, you've woke up and there's presents in your living room. You just, what's happened? He's you Question, were your presents under the tree or on the sofas? On the sofa. Mine was on the sofas as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It just proves that we, lazy parents <laughs> can't be bothered <laughs> to bend down and put it on the tree. bend down and put it on the tree. No, nope, on the sofa. Good. Right, let's see. Oregon defense is where we head first. Ints. They get to go first on the defensive half. Mira, no surprise to see Mira being brought. Um, very, very strong, can deny the laundry and freezer takes extremely well. I do like to see that right off the rip, we're seeing Flores be brought from NIP. We know how much damage Flores can do to Elbow. You send the Flores drone in, can explode the shield. You don't have to worry about going through the process of burning up Whamai's and ADS's. He makes the job extremely easily. And also, with no mute being on the side of Ints, it's going to make that 10 times easier for them. And happy to start things off on the attack here. Muzi gathering a little bit of information, as is Psycho. Got to keep a keen eye on NIP here in this opening engagement. Mentioned there in the pregame that it's the stat line that they do too well in at the moment. Didn't start to get a sniff of that. They can give themselves a nice early advantage in the majority of the rounds. Like we may have a little bit of connection issue here. As Kamikaze just struggling with the old rubber band. Carry on regardless. We're going to be able to get in and start opening up into meeting. We're all going to be trying to gather a little bit of info there on the Twitch drone. Set up the flank cameras. Julio's positioning so far this stage has just been second to none. There's so many occasions where he's been the player responsible for the round win and he's come in with a very important handful of kills. Another player to really keep a keen eye on. Yeah. I was uh, quite surprised that, that Julia was actually the top-rated player uh, for NIP in terms of kills, especially whenever you have a Pino and you have a Muzi. Like, I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm just very, very surprised that, that they're not up there. Um, looks as if that we have some technical difficulties, which it happens. Um, so you're back to, to me and Ollie again. Um, but really, from what we've seen, Ollie, not, not too much we can really dig into. It's mostly just the operator lineups and what NIP were setting out to do. It looks to be very standard, similar to what Liquid did earlier. Clear everything, give yourself a lot of options, and then kind of analyze to see where most of the utility is being set up. And in that scenario for Ints, we can see them very heavy with the laundry and freezer setup. Those double mirror windows, probably going to be a bit of an issue for NIP, I'm sure. 
Yeah, the mirror is really becoming quite popular downstairs on, on Oregon. And for good reason, like you say, the, the popularity of those windows and the, just the amount of information that you're able to gain off the back of them. We saw FaZe having a good time with and struggling a little bit against them as well in the couple of times they've played Oregon. So it's something that it's uh, it's always been a known. It's always been a thing that is uh, in the back of people's minds. Obviously, you think about old Oregon and laundry and mirror was a, a staple. You know, if mirror wasn't banned on Oregon, it was... GG in the rank games, you were winning that every single time, and it slowly but surely come full circle, and it started to get introduced into uh, into competitive play as well. Looks as though we're going to bring chunks back in. I think there's going to be uh, a little bit more of an elongated break here. It seems as though we're suffering with a little bit of power issue, which is never ideal. So we'll bring chunks back into the conversation until we get a bit more further information as to exactly what's going on. Yeah, really exciting game so far, right, guys? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're, we're having a couple technical issues between our feed and the feed that they send us from Brazil. So if anyone's wondering what's wrong with the delays, that's what's going on. We'll try and get that back up and running as soon as possible. I do have to ask, though, and, and it's going to sound so stupid, but we need to fill time somehow. Demo, is there any insight onto the play styles that we may be getting here from the operator lineup? Uh, a very safe lineup, I think, from both sides. Nothing really to... Have the ordinary, nothing too crazy. It's more of kind of your typical org and what we're expecting. So only time will tell how NIP are going to attack that. But I also have a question for you, Chunks, because I need to know. Presence on the sofa, presence under the tree. Under the tree, always. <gasps> under know. the tree. Under the tree. He's, he's, he's against the grain, Ollie. Wow. Hey, what what can I say? Anyway, look, let's 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 take a quick break for a moment because we're clearly losing our minds out here. We're gonna go to a short break. We'll be back in just a couple minutes once we have an update on the technical situation. Told me this wouldn't be nothing Maybe I should take that advice Go get a life Or maybe get a job or something Pack it up and head back home Tell everybody I was bluffing or Maybe I'll just get out my head And focus on what I know's coming Yeah Cause I can't fall asleep at night Without seeing my dreams Delusion and reality I'm somewhere in between These voices in my head get loud And they keep telling me That I'm a fool for trusting in these wings Drinking themselves crazy tonight. <laughs> Maybe I should call and say, Told you I'd be right. Wondering how long it was before you realized the biggest mistake of your life. And now you're paying the price. Oh, is it confidence or confusion? Either way, I feel like I ain't never losing. Your opinion, of mine, you know just what I'm choosing. I gotta do this. Cause I can't fall asleep at night without seeing my dreams. 
Delusion and reality, I'm somewhere in between. These voices in my head get loud and they keep telling me that I'm a fool for trusting in these wings. But maybe, baby, this will fly. Thank you for bearing with us during that short break we are now back unfortunately we did miss one round of action but we are here to rejoin ints they did pick up round number one the round continued to play as there was actually no problem with the game itself it was just the feed that we were receiving from brazil there was a bit of a power issue inside of the studio and as such the game continued to go we lost our visual of it but we rejoin and what can we glean Obviously, there has been a remake. Everyone's starting on zero 